Hi. Dr. Bob Flower and our Master Pattern Report for uh, Monday, June 4th, 2018. Good to be back. Uh, i tell you a little story about uh, where I've been. Uh, back in the uh, beginning of um, March, we uh, took our jaunt out to our, our place in Scottsdale. Um, got into an exercise uh, get in a fitness center and make a long story short herniated three discs um, excruciating pain those of you who may have experienced this um, finally got into a pain management doctor um, tried an epidural didn't work had to wait another week going through the pain and whatnot went back and doctor says, uh, no, you can't do this. You're in AFib. You have to go to the hospital. Went to the hospital, spent four days in the hospital deciding what to do, and ended up with a, what they call an ablation, which is where they go in through the groin and up through the vena cava and into your heart, and they, they zap the, uh, the electrical circuits there. 92% uh, um, percentage of uh, of, ac of 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 cure accurate cure, and um, that that worked, but it really knocked me on my backside. So between that and uh, and the the back, uh, it's been a rough two and a half months. Let me tell you. Uh, and it's good to be back. I'm still in therapy. And was able to to drop 24 pounds and uh, have another 24 to go. Uh, but um, uh, in any event, that's where I've been. And uh, but I have been busy uh, in the interim um, promoting my new book, 24 Holiday Avenue. The Spirit of Success, which is a sort of biography. Um, i gotten excellent re reviews, Kruger and whatnot, gave it a very good rating, and there are a lot of, uh, uh, there's a, a, a lot of testimonials uh, from people within the industry. Uh, you want to try this, it's, it's very entertaining, easy read, get through it in, um, in one night. Um, and we have uh, two more that are going to be coming out hopefully, uh, well, one definitely before the end of the summer and, and the other one maybe by the end of the year. Um, our biogenetic program is, uh, is coming out great. If you go online, you'll see a whole bunch of our new brochures for various uh, applications of the program. Uh, and I want to tell you one uh, that is absolutely fascinating. Uh, for those of you who are parents and uh, grandparents, uh, we have a schol athletic scholarship assistance program. And here's the way it works. If you have a teenager who you think has potential, we give them a test uh, to determine what their potential is on a, a mental, emotional, and what we call a spirit level. And um, depending on the results of that test, we then invite them into the program, uh, give them a deeper test, which is a DNA test, and then do a, a whole uh, pro forma on them, um, somewhere around 70 to 80 pages, maybe even a little bit more of uh, information. We take uh, videos that you may have and, and newspaper clippings or what have you. Um, uh, on um, uh, on the teenager, put together a package, and send it out to uh, approximately a thousand different colleges, athletic departments, uh, to promote uh, the, uh, the scholarship potential uh, on an athletic basis uh, for that particular individual. Uh, the merits that we uh, that we're offering is that it takes more than just physical talent to make um, an athlete successful. Uh, that there 
it, it takes a, a, a mindset, it takes an emotional uh, intelligence level, and it also takes a spirit, a, a, the, the will to win. You gotta want it, you know, you gotta, you gotta have that instinct. And what these tests do determine that, and we can also provide uh, pathways for that uh, uh, for that to, to child to uh, to improve their station. Okay, uh, you can go online. Very interesting uh, uh, format. Uh, you could save thousands upon thousands of dollars uh, for. Uh, uh, for, for particular uh, in particular instances where where even partial scholarships okay uh, okay so and you can contact us uh, at drbobflower.com uh, website to see what that's all about okay so let's talk a little bit at this point about uh, what's going on with our uh, with our economy huh mm. um, Things, uh, things are humming along. Um, uh, you know, the market is kind of fluttering a little bit back and forth here with some wild fluctuations. Uh, however, I, I, I see some some trouble uh, formulating in a particular pattern that I want to discuss with you. Um, it, inflation is, is starting to heat up. And um, your, your, our interest rates are, are going up. Uh, regulations have um, been uh, eliminated or reduced in a lot of areas. Most notably and most bothersome to me as, as, a, uh, as a real estate economist is with institutions. Um, institutions are back to um, performing um, with minimal regulations, especially in their investment uh, profiles, their, their, invest, their investment policies. Okay, so they're going to be taking more risks back to where we were in 2007 and 2008. That's not good. Uh, especially for the bigger institutions. Uh, there is uh, a, 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 an opening of the, uh, uh, of the regulations on, on, a, on a federal scale and a broad scale, but a lot of states uh, are fighting this, and you know, it's a red and blue type of thing again, um, and tightening up on their own uh, regulations where the federal regulations have uh, been applied uh, and this this is causing a lot of conflict uh, you're getting areas like California where people are, are, are tripping over themselves to get out of there uh, and, and these are taxpaying individuals and being replaced by uh, by uh, people who do not have the financial wherewithal to uh, support the taxation and uh, the revenue, uh, state revenue, they're, they're, they're headed for some big trouble. Uh, Chicago, uh, Illinois is already very much in that uh, state, New York. New Jer forget about New Jersey. New Jersey, you, I, I don't know you, you could sell, you could sell dog food in New Jersey. Um, New York is having the same problem where a lot of uh, wealth is moving out uh, and not being replaced. And they see, they see, folks, uh, that that's the problem when you don't have enough people to pay the bills. Uh, you you go deeper and deeper in debt, and you have more and more problems and then when you add on to that uh, social uh, programs um, you know like for instance in New York uh, the governor has now introduced a program for solar power for people who who can't afford it people who have homes and can't afford this um, you know that's 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 just terrific but you know where's that money coming from you know it's it's, you know, it's not coming from heaven 
Um, and as I said, a lot of the wealthier people are just moving out. Um, and But they're not being replaced by those that can uh, afford to supplement what's being lost. Now, with all of that, uh, and given the good news, such as like the unemployment uh, down significantly, wages are, are going up, with that, we are experiencing a social crisis in that the, uh, the, 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 the spirit of capitalism, which is what, what the founders built this country on, is now being challenged to a level that may well, it, it's becoming uh, dilatorious to, to the economy itself. There's no two ways about it. When I was younger in business, people would say, geez, that guy is doing great, you know, and uh, I, I would love to learn his model to see how I could be successful. Today, they're saying, gee, that guy is doing great. I wonder how I could screw him out of what he's doing. I wonder how I can take his money away from him. Mm. Um, and and the, this is a uh, uh, an outcry uh, from people who think that they're entitled, who are not willing to take the chance. Uh, you see, you, you don't give people things, you give them information as to how to get things. That's where we're, that's where we're losing it. That's where uh, a lot of the, uh, a, a lot of governance is missing the point. You know, it's, it's as an example, it's like bullying, right? They're passing legislation to stop bullying. Well, I, I, I don't know if you could do that. I mean, you can, I guess, but that's not the that's not the path. The path is to show kids, people, how to survive that, how to be strong, so those things don't negatively impact them. How they, where they could they could fight, they could bring up that spirit within themselves to overcome that type of uh, attack. Not that so much you're going to stop people from doing it because. You know, that's that's unrealistic perfectionism. It just doesn't work. That's not the way the world is, you know? I mean, uh, what was it, uh, 70, 80 years ago, 70 years ago? You know, we, we, we had we had a, a, a Nazi movement in, in this country, and we we kicked their ass royally, right? Um, to the point where we completely took over and, you know, abolished the whole system. You still have Nazism, maybe not in, in in Germany, or maybe it is, but you still have it, and in some places it's getting almost as bad as what it was. So, t to say that we're going to abolish negativity, no, you overcome negativity. You don't abolish it. It's not, not going to happen. That's not the way to look at it. That's not the way you correct things. You correct it by making people better, making people stronger. Then it goes away. Then it, it doesn't really go away. It subsides because it loses its power. Okay? So, spirit, which I talk about a lot in my book, right, the, spirit, the spirit of success, is what carries the day. Um, it's what takes a person who is smart, but incapable of making a lot of money, let's say. Uh, the reason? Because they don't have that spirit. They, they know, but they don't understand because they don't involve themselves in that, okay? I think that this is important. I think that this is something that economists don't watch. And to be very frank with you, when I was predicting back in 2016 the the uh, presidential race, the biggest factor between Trump and and um, and uh, Hillary was uh, the spirit that he was touching, and she wasn't touching. He was, 
And that's what, what showed me that he was going to win. Now we have something of an, of, of, of an opposite, not, not to say that that won't happen again, but the, the spirit, the economic spirit is becoming, uh, it, it's being weakened by this notion of privilege and this notion of, uh, of uh, victim, victimization, uh, and uh, this, this drive towards um, being privileged. I, 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 I deserve this because of who I am or what I am, you know, and the government business should be taking care of me. Well, it doesn't work like that. And the more you try and do that, the harder it's going to be for people the more suffering there's going to be. And it's too bad we're going to have to go through that, but it looks like that that's where we're going. Regardless of who the president is, okay? It'll be better if it were somebody like Trump, but um, who has those objectives? That's what I mean by that. And that could be a Democrat or a Republican. That doesn't, doesn't make any difference. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about, about the politics of what's going on and uh, this uh, resistance that seems to be uh, developing towards, uh, uh, you know, the, the Never Trump movement, you know, his, his ratings are going up, uh, his accomplishments are going up, uh, and I think you're going to see a major breakthrough in, in um, some information that's coming down the line here about what was going on. You see, here, here, here's why there's such a tremendous resentment towards him, aside from the fact of the personal resentment towards the way he, he personally is. But the, that, that's, that's not it. You see, all of these institutions are against him because he caught them flat-footed. All of their lies, all of their deceits, uh, all of their deceptions, all of their chicanery and crookedness is now coming out and it and it will before the end of his term you will see a tremendous amount of uh, discrediting why do you think that so many republicans are getting out not democrats Repub why are they retiring there's over 40 of them in congress because they know the party is up they know that they're not going to get themselves into the positions that they have been with, uh, with favoritism and with uh, lucrative contracts, you know, all of these type of things. Right? And that he's stopping it, and he could stop it easier with the Republicans than he can with the Democrats. But their turns are coming too, okay? So, uh, the, 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 being the fact that um, uh, there's tremendous change coming on those levels uh, is why they, they're going after the guy as, as hard as they are. Right? Uh, if you took away the personality factor um, and just look at what he's what he's doing, what his what his goals are. Uh, I mean, you have to see and you have to admit that, that they're they're worthwhile for for most people, except for those you know. I want so, and 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 uh, let me say this: the, the uh, Republicans and Democrats in um, administration, such as like the DOJ, Department of Justice, are fighting like hell to make sure that this type of knowledge and information is not coming out and that they're really objecting to it and that's why you're seeing this battle that's going on where they, they, they're trying to discredit him so much the powers behind the scenes especially in the media the powers behind the media are, are um, they're very concerned they're worried about what's coming out and they should be because this is this is a dramatic time for change, and I think you might see. Mark this down. I think you might see very soon 
where the possibility exists that Trump will suspend Sessions and Ron, uh, the, the two, the, the head and the second in command there, uh, of the DOJ for not honoring the request of Congress for, for documents and papers that they've been fighting from releasing, which is going to show the people what's really has been going on for a long, long time. And he may well not fire them, just suspend them for that particular action and bring in somebody else to handle that part of, of the Department of Justice, which he has the power to do. Now that move, I mean, you know, you want to see things fly. Uh, you'll see the skin come, come right off some of these people. So uh, there's a lot of things that are uh, on the back burner uh, that are coming to the forefront here. And I think we're in, we're in uh, as the Chinese uh, old proverb goes, may we live in interesting times. <laughs> And that's where we're headed right now. So um, uh, that, I think, should do it. Mm -hmm. Hey. Okay. Uh, and and check, out, check out these brochures online. We've got a lot of different programs that we're offering. A lot of fun. Uh, a lot of interesting information. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of skill things and, uh, and data. Uh, potential achievement. Uh, love to have you involved. Okay, Dr. Bob signing off, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next week, and we'll get this thing uh, get this thing going. Have a good week.